Christian Grande, a freshman at Mitchell. My brother Michael Grande plays on the baseball team here at Mitchell. The big question tonight, is Patrick Schuster going to pitch another no-hitter? Kristen, I think Patrick will absolutely pitch another no-hitter. Thank you, Rachel. John Cody with TampaBay.com. I'm here with Joey Knight, and we're at Mitchell High School, where tonight senior left-hander Patrick Schuster is going for his fourth consecutive no-hitter. Joey, you've seen Schuster on the streak. He's been pitching great, 17 strikeouts against Atlanta Lakes. How good is this kid? Cody, throwing three consecutive no-hitters is obviously unheard of, but I think if anyone is capable, it's this kid. He's six foot two. he's a left-hander, he throws his fastball in the low 90 mile per hour range, and he throws his breaking pitch for strikes. He is signed with the University of Florida. I don't think he ever steps foot on the Gainesville campus. I think the pro offer he gets in June will be too great to pass up. Schuster's got no hitters against Clearwater Central Catholic and Atlanta Lakes. Both teams about 500, down a little bit from previous years, and he's got a no hitter against River Ridge. But tonight, probably the stiffest competition he's faced. Uh, one of the best teams he's going to pitch against this year with a lineup that really, from top to bottom, pretty powerful. When Schuster threw his third consecutive no hitter, he got a spot on Sports Center. If he throws one tonight, he ought to get a spot in Cooperstown. Pasco is that good. They got a team batting average of 347. If memory serves, they've collected 36 total home runs, led by Jake Schrader's 10. One through five in the batting order is as good as anyone in the Bay Area. This is going to be a tall order for Schuster tonight. And one of Pasco's hottest hitters lately is Josh Johnson, the leadoff hitter. So, really, you want to tune into this thing right from the start because uh, this could be a uh, uh, streak ender right off the bat or if Schuster gets into a groove, very, very tough night for Pasco. The skies have cleared here. It rained earlier. The field's in great condition, and we're going to see if history can be made tonight.